Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at an adjustment here, the selective color, and in particular how it works in terms of selection. So this is a control which makes a selection and then lets you adjust within that selection. And so if I, I just can uncheck the relative here because if I put that on, it kind of constrains it. You can't see the change so much. It's a sort of finer control. So we'll leave that off now so we can just see more visibly what's happening. And I'll stay with reds here. So I've selected reds. And the question is, have I actually selected anything here? And if I move this up and down, you can see, yeah, I'm making an adjustment. Whereas if I went to greens and moved this up and down, nothing happens. And the reason that reds works here, making adjustments here to the colour, is very simply one thing. And that is because in the colour here, in this colour, red is the highest value. That's all it takes to choose whether red works here or not. And because green is not the highest value, then going to greens and trying to make an adjustment, nothing happens. So this means that if you just pick any pixel at all, on an image, you can tell where the reds are going to be changed by the adjustment of this. Another thing to note here, so let's go back to the rectangle. If I put this one up close here, so the green or the second one, I could have done it with the blue, is quite close. Then when I go back to the selection here, if I adjust this here, see there's a bit of a change happening. Yeah, and here there's a little bit of change, but I can move the whole range here and there's not much change. And that's because these two are very close together. So if I now look at a pixel and say, look at the reds the highest, so reds will work, but there's blue or green close up behind, there's not going to be much change I can make by going to the reds. So let's look at this in terms here. Of this, reds works like this, greens works like this, and blues, but yellows, cyans, and magentas are different. So if I go to yellows here, then if I make adjustments here, it's working to make an adjustment, and this, the choosing mechanism here is that the blue is the lowest. And this is because the blue is the opposite of yellow on the colour wheel. And here I'm getting a pretty strong effect in terms of the amount of change I can make. And if you're ahead of me, you might think, well, what about this middle one here? What if I bring that down near to blue? So the blue and then the one next to it are quite close. Now if I go to selective colour and I go here, to yellows. Now if I make an adjustment here, there's only a little bit of change. And so if the lowest is blue and the next lowest, whether green or red, is close by, I can only make a little bit of change here. But because of the other effect, I've now got more gap here for red. So what I can do is look at any pixel, and I can look at the highest value and the lowest value, and the one in the middle, and I can see which of these will have the effect for making the change. So let's do that with a colour here. So let's take this image and say, what if I want to change the values of this yellow here? Well, if I drag this down here to go over the yellow, and then click on the pipette to move it to the yellow there, I can see here that this, the red is the highest, so actually it's a red. And But the gap between the red and the next lowest is not very much. So if I put a selective colour on, I've got red selected, and let's uncheck the relative so you can see a strong effect. If I adjust this here, you can see the reds in the picture changing, but there's not much happening in here. There is a bit, but it's so small you can hardly see it, and there are other reds which are affected. So if I go to yellows, now yellow is going to work because blue is the lowest, and there's a bigger gap between blue and the next one. 
So this there now should have a far greater effect on these here. And you can see there I'm literally pushing this around the place. So you can see those are being affected. So looking simply at the pixels here, I can decide by looking at them here. I can just drag down here. I can do the wall there. I can either read the numbers here or get up here and then click the pipette. And this tells me that this is a red and the gap here is the biggest. So therefore, if I go to the reds and I make adjustments here, it's going to be more significant in those areas. Anyway, that's it. I'll be doing more in other videos about how the selective colour works. And thank you very much for watching.